Every once in a while, you get a sense of divine timing, a plan that originates not on earth, but in heaven. I have that sense now because I've been working for more than a year on the book that is scheduled to come out this Easter. The book is entitled, Hope to Die, The Christian Meaning of Death and the Resurrection of the Body. I wrote this for a variety of reasons, but I have a feeling our Lord was planning this for one particular reason, because of the inordinate fear of suffering and death that would arise in so many people around the world today, in all of us. And even we as Christians recognize that Christ has died, but he transformed death from the loss of life to the gift of life, from an execution to a sacrifice. And so beginning with his own death and resurrection, he has infused our suffering and our dying with a redemptive power that releases divine graces in such a way that it would never do if we were simply suffering on our own. But we're not on our own. We're united to Christ, really and truly. And our earthly life is not meant to last forever. It's meant to lead us to eternal life. The joy and suffering we experience here on earth all have a purpose when we understand our life in relation to our eternal home and our divine destiny. This is the message that I wanted to convey as I wrote Hope to Die, and only now do I see why it was so necessary to write this book when I did. And I want you to be able to read it right now, because this message is so timely and so important for us to hear and ponder today amidst the spread of this COVID-19 coronavirus crisis. I've decided to give everyone who orders now a free ebook copy immediately. Not only that, I'll be signing 25 pre-ordered copies at least. There's no reason to wait. Pre-order today and start reading my yet unreleased book right now. I pray that you will read it and then share it along with the hope of the resurrection as we prepare for the coming of Easter. I pray that it brings hope to the many families affected by the spread of this virus. And please know that I am praying for you and for your families every day. Please keep us in your prayers too. God bless you.